All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to do Plinth Locomotives Around Melbourne Part 2. So we are heading up to Edward Lake Park. That is where an A2 class sits there. And next, we're going to come down back down to the southeastern suburbs to see the D3 class sitting in Mary Wallace Park in Bayswater. And then after that, we're going to trek on down to Yarragon, just a little bit past Warragul, to see the K class that sits there. I actually should have got up a little bit earlier to film this. I was very tired. I had the air show last night, hence the aviators. I'm up now. <laughs> Let's just, yeah, I'm tired, but it's all right. We'll get into it and get stuck in. Let's go. A2964 is fully blocked off here at Edwards Lake Park, but it's looking in pretty good condition. It looks like it's not, too, not got too much bird droppings on it. It's still looking pretty decent, actually. The wheels look great. Paint's not too faded on, you know, that, that I would say for a locomotive that's been sitting here for a long time. It's looking pretty good. As you can see, it's got box block wheels, and I believe only five of the modified a2s had box pock wheels on them when they were converted from A1 to A2. Could be wrong, but I remember seeing something about that. This is the most I can see getting to the cab. It's all fenced off, so you can't actually get in at all. You know, that's good. Protecting the locomotive from vandalism as well. Having it all fenced off. And yeah, that's exactly why it's in pretty good condition. It still has a lot of the like the, the valves and the things you turn to, you know, run the locomotive. And, you know, nothing's really blocked off on the inside. It's all, it's all mostly still there. And yeah, it's, it's looking really good in there. Just having a walk around towards the back now. And as you can see, the locomotive's actually missing its rear number plate. And it is sitting on tracks as well. At least it still has its front number plates and it's painted well and it's looking good. So yeah, that is A2964 done and dusted. We've seen it all. And now we're going to head down to Bayswater to see the D3 class that sits there. And I've been there plenty of times because that's like my barbecue spot. And when I buy burgers, I go sit on the train and eat dinner. So let's get down there. So here we have locomotive D3666, built in 1919. This was originally DD1045 as a DD class locomotive. This locomotive was actually renamed again after this, but then changed again because it had been modified into the D2 class as D2753. And in 1933, it was rebuilt again with the D3 boiler, becoming D3666. So just walk it into the cab of the locomotive now. And as you can see, because this is a playground, a lot of it's been fenced off for safety. 
such as the tender. If you look at the back, uh, it's actually been raised higher, so people can't climb out or climb in, and it's been fenced off on all the windows. People can't climb through and hurt themselves because obviously little kids will be here. But here's the view from the driver's spot, and a lot of the valves and the levers are missing. The firebox is blocked off. Nothing else moves in the cab, so nothing that will hurt the children. That's the priority, safety. But yeah, this is the cab of the D3 class. And just an overall shot of the park, which is quite frankly amazing. Perfect for your barbecue, basketball and netball needs. Some pics of D3 666 in service and one when it was freshly plinthed here in the park. Time for our third loco of the day, K162 in Yarragon. Alright, so here is locomotive K183, just outside of Yaragon Station, uh, right next to the main road. And you're probably thinking, well, this isn't K183. And you're absolutely right. This is not K183. K183 is with steam rail and it's blue and it's active in service at the moment. So why does this have K183 plates all over it? So steam rail had K162 in service and it needed an overhaul and needed major repairs. And they came to Yaragon, where K183 was plinth originally. And they thought, well, this locomotive is in better condition. So they actually swapped out the two locomotives. But what you might not have known is that this is K183's actual tender. The tender actually remained here. K183, the locomotive, was swapped out with K162. So this locomotive, the, where the boiler is, and the front half of the frame connecting to the tender, this is K162, but hooked up to K183's tender. And because K183 was originally plinth here, K183 is the number plates that they've chosen to use while the locomotive is plinth here. So that is the story behind that. So there is only one real K183, and that is, well, that's with steam rail. This is K162, just hooked up with the wrong tender. Look, you're not meant to do this, but I'm gonna jump in the locomotive and see what's inside takes a go. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. It's been a pretty fun one today. And yeah, sitting here in the cab of K183 to finish off the video. Couldn't find a better way to do it. So thanks for watching. Actually, you know what was pretty cool um, today? All the locomotives today were in parks around Melbourne. So I think that's pretty unique. I think that's pretty cool that, you know, wherever you go, there's always a piece of history somewhere in your local park. And I think that's nice to know. So yeah, please check out the rest of the channel. Please check out part one of my Plinth Locomotive videos. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy and have a good one.